Hi everybody in Comp 1. I was kind of inspired by our president, Chris Whaley, and I thought it might be helpful if you could see a human face and know that I'm not just a robot and that I'm here for you and that I care about you. So, uh, happy September 14th, or half September 16th for my other class that'll be watching this. Uh, I just kind of wanted to walk you through your assignments for the coming week. I'm actually going to be removing one of them, so that's good news. And just to kind of give you a heads up again about the assignment schedule. So to preface this, I just want to say I want you to ask questions whenever you are confused. I don't want you languishing in a void, as I've said to you before. So do continue to ask questions. Uh, but that being said, I have received a lot of questions recently that seem to indicate that a lot of you, or at least a good chunk of you, no longer have access to the assignment calendar. So I'm just gonna repost that. I'm gonna repost the calendar on Discord and I'm gonna repost it on Edmodo. That assignment schedule, it's the one that I handed to you physically on the first day, that is your Bible for this class. And if you just have that document, you almost have everything you need to get through this class. That will keep you on the path that you need to be on. Everything you need to be doing is listed on that schedule. Um, so it's not really a good thing to not be paying attention to, and it's easy to get lost if you're not just checking on that schedule. It will tell you point for point what you need to be doing every week. Yes, I put reminder posts on Edmodo, and I talk about stuff on the Discord, but really the user's manual for the course is that assignment schedule. So just make sure that you have that, you know, open or easily accessible on your computer. And again, I'm gonna repost that for you in my upcoming Edmodo post so you have that. Uh, okay, so for what's coming up this week. So hopefully all of you, by the time you watch this, will have uploaded your thick description practice about your bedroom to Edmodo. I had asked you to just kind of put that in the comment section under my last post. So now we are transitioning to working on the major paper. And I went ahead and posted the assignment description for that paper a couple of weeks ago. And I apologize for any confusion that caused, but I just wanted you to kind of know what was coming. So your first kind of step uh, in that paper for one class, I think it's due the 28th, and for the other class, it's due the 30th. Your first step is to, number one, look over your options of the type of places that you can write about for this and pick one and kind of decide what you want to write about. And number two, you're going to go ahead and prepare a set of field notes, a set of double entry notes for whatever place that is. Now, you're going to notice from the options on the sheet, there's options like any real place outside of Rome State, but there's also any place from your imagination or any place from your memory. Your process of taking field notes will differ slightly depending on if you are physically looking at a place if you are remembering a place or if you're imagining a place. So if you have questions about how to do that, let me know. But your homework for next week is to have at least two pages, just like last time, of double entry notes written about this new place that you've selected. So we're done with the bedroom, we're moving on from the bedroom. You're gonna go back and I will probably just repost this, this paper description as well. You're gonna look over this list of options pick one of these things to do thick description about. And I'm not gonna go on ad nauseum about the assignment because it's all there in the document for you. But again, if you have questions about that, just let me know. So first, before you do the paper, you're gonna do the field notes. And as opposed to me having my normal office hours, um, two to six next week, I'm gonna be having one-on-one -on -one video conferences with all of you next week. And I say video conferences, but you actually have some options on that. So I will put out a schedule on Edmodo. I will have a list of slots. And what I would like you to do is respond to that post on Edmodo, or you can just tell me on Discord if you want, or snap me, you can contact me anyway. But once a slot is taken, I will edit the post and put your name by the slot that you've asked for. So like if Monday at three o'clock is what works well for you, then you'll claim that and then I'll alter the post and put Billy Joe's name next to Monday at three o'clock. So how these conferences are gonna work, they're just 10 minutes long. Um, they, if you don't have anybody right after you, they can be longer if you want, 
but it's just a way for me to touch base with you. I always do this, even when we're not online, but I think now that we're online and not seeing each other, it's probably more essential than ever for me to do these one-on-one -on -one conferences, kind of mini conferences. Um, so these are your options for how you wanna do this. If you uh, want, we can do the face-to-face -face call over Snapchat. We can do it over Google Meet. Um, or we can do it over Discord. And if you want to talk to me, but if you don't want to see me, if you don't want to have your face on there, if you want to just stay in your pajamas or whatever, we can also just do voice chat via Discord. That's an option. There's a voice chat on the server, and I'm going to probably change it from general to uh, conferences. Um, and so we can either do voice chat or video chat in there. You just need to let me know your preference when you book your time. So sometime over the next few days, one of your pieces of homework is to tell me I want this time slot and also then tell me how you wanna do your conference. But then there's another option. You don't actually have to do a face-to-face -face with me. You don't have to do a call with me. I'm just offering this in case it's helpful to you. So if you don't wanna do any of that, there's also an email option. And essentially what it is is I just send you there's a list of like seven questions and you will fill out that list and then just send it back to me. And then I'll write you back with any other questions that I have. Uh, and that's it. So that one's pretty low key. Again, I'm not forcing you to do this if it's not something you wanna do uh, as far as the voice or face-to-face -face stuff. But the conference as a whole, however you choose to do it, is a part of your grade. And so I mentioned this in the syllabus, but if you no show for your conference, meaning that if you tell me that you're gonna be available at this time and you're gonna call me at this time and I never hear anything from you, you will lose a third of your participation credit. So for comp one this semester, you have 15 participation points. That's five points that you would lose if you just no-showed. Now, if something goes wrong and if you're like, hey, my dog got out and I had to chase him through the neighborhood, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna make the conference and you let me know, that doesn't count as a no-show. But I'm just talking about people just kind of dropping off the face of the planet because that's my time that I have wasted. So um, just be aware of that. But your homework, your main piece of homework for that conference is to be able to present to me your double entry notes. So I have on the assignment schedule, I said email me your double entry notes. If you're doing voice chat, you can also just show them to me in the conference. You don't have to email them to me beforehand. You can just take your phone and show me where you've done your notes, that's fine. If you're doing the email conference, you can just attach them to the email and send the email back to me. So you can either send it anytime this week or you can just show me the notes when we have our conference. But basically I'll be asking you about your topic, about how you feel about it. Um, and then it's a time for you to ask me any questions about the assignment because it's not a normal assignment. It may not be an assignment that you've been asked to do before. Uh, but you've all been doing an excellent job practicing thick description. Uh, all the snippets that you posted to Edmodo were really good. All the notes that you did were uh, well done and they kind of led up to that. I really enjoyed reading everything that you wrote, so thank you for that. Um, other things I wanted to tell you, um, you know, going from meeting twice a week to just having one meeting per week, sometimes you don't really know how much to put in each week. This is my first time doing Comp 1 virtually. And I don't mind telling you, I really miss doing it in person. So I think I may have overloaded you a little bit. So I am gonna remove one assignment. So on your assignment schedule, uh, it says number one, read Poopy First Drafts by Anne Lamott. That is an essay that I always pass out in comp one and that we usually read together. Um, you are still welcome to read that. It's not long. It's probably like two pages, but I'm not gonna quiz you over it or anything. It's, it's not mandatory at all. So I'm officially taking that off the homework table for next week. So that reading will not be posted. You do not have to do that. Uh, the other part, there will be, when it says read the material about global and local revision, sometime during this week, I will post some material about how I grade. And it'll be some tips in there about commas and punctuation, some specific diction things that I look for as a professor and then this term global and local revision and what does that mean? So it'll be just be kind of a primer on like, here's some things to be aware of before you turn in the paper for me. Um, it says you need to watch that stuff. That'll be any time between when I post it and when you turn in the paper. So that's not necessarily due a week from now. You just need to look over that material before you write and submit the paper. Um, so that's that homework. And that'll be sometime 
maybe Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, that's going to go up. Uh, number three, that's the big thing, is you need to sign up for a virtual conference time on the Edmodo post that I'm about to post here in a couple of hours. So you'll need to sign up, and then when you sign up, and again, you can do that through whatever medium is best for you, but when you sign up, you'll need to tell me, I want to do our conference through blank, so that I have time to kind of get all those things ready and prepare for that. Um, and then, uh, number four is create, like I said before, you're going to create a new set of double entry notes for whatever new place you're going to observe, whether that's from your memory, from your imagination, or if you go physically to a place. What a lot of people do for this assignment, if you're one of these people that's like, I'm so overloaded right now, I'm working 30 hours, and trying to do online school, I'm barely keeping my head above water, a lot of people do this paper about their job because sometimes you're not constantly working all the time and sometimes you have a break or maybe there's a few hours where nobody's coming in, just bring some paper with you and just start doing the double entry notes while you're there. And I, I have had some really funny and sarcastic papers come out of when people choose to write about their workplace. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and you're like, I don't have time to sit and be imaginative, you can just work on your job. Uh, and then lastly, there will be a couple of new Discord discussion prompts that I'm gonna post today. Uh, those of you who have been participating, you've been doing an excellent job. Thank you for that. Uh, and so just sometime over the next week, participate in that. So that's what's coming up this week. Again, the paper is not due a week from today. It's due two weeks from today. But that is your first kind of major essay for the class. You uh, will have the option of revising that if you don't like the grade. Uh, and I'll again prepare you a little bit more for how that grade is going to come about and things that I'm looking for. So if you have any questions at all, let me know again through whatever device or website or app is most convenient for you. And I just wanted to make this to kind of touch base with you human to human. Um, and again, make sure you have that assignment schedule nearby because that is essential and it tells you everything that you need to know. So I appreciate you. Like I said, I know this has not been the semester that any of you ordered when you came to the Rome State Cafe and it's been kind of a surprise for all of us so thank you for hanging in there um i'm grateful for each and every one of you and i've really enjoyed reading everything that you write so i hope that you have a fabulous start to your week and i will see you later bye